All right. So with about two weeks before the election, uh, currently Donald Trump is getting pounded in the polls, probably harder than Stormy Daniels did in American Girls Part 2. Like, it's just, it's a pound fest. It's just horrible. And, uh, you know, Trump doesn't have many legs to stand on at this point. He's already uh, backed out on his uh, on his promise to not, engage in any debates with Biden if uh, there are mute buttons. And as we know, that went out the window and he actually has to participate in that third debate after Biden even beat him in ratings on their dueling town halls. Uh, you know it's bad when Trump is losing in the ratings to Joe Biden, never mind in the polls. And of course, you know, Trump doesn't care. He doesn't discriminate. He'll, he'll beat on, you know, Bo Biden's corpse just as readily as he'll beat on Hunter Biden for apparently being somebody who walks around Asia and Europe with trillions of dollars because his last name is Biden. Uh, and this is the, the marketing approach because he can't really tout anything he's done because he hasn't done anything successful. He hasn't passed any real legislation and all he does is sign a lot of executive orders and stand in front of running helicopters to give press conferences. This this, this seems to be his, his presidential modus operandi. So it's kind of hilarious that, uh, you know, Trump knows more about Bo Biden and Hunter Biden than he knows about his own daughter, Tiffany, who's also known as not Ivanka. Uh, perhaps you've heard of her. Apparently Donald Trump hasn't. And he's so focused on kids that uh, apparently he is once again in a very Trumpian manner stepped in it, so to speak. So let's bring it up. We'll talk about it. Trump records shed new light on Chinese business pursuits. That's right, mister. It's the Gina virus. Gina! The Gina virus is coming to get you. Oh, damn, those Chinese. Those Chinese are the worst. They're going to ruin America with their communism. Huh. So, so Trump hates China and communism, huh? Let's, uh... Let's check that out. As he raises questions about his opponent's standing with China, President Trump's taxes reveal details about his own activities there, including a previously unknown bank account. <gasps> what? Shut the front door. No. Donald Trump lying about his finances? That's that's just, that's totally believable. I mean, it's, it's Trump. He lies about everything, and especially about his finances. So, all right, let's see what you got. Uh, President Trump and his allies have tried to paint the Democratic nominee, Joseph R. Biden Jr., as soft on China, in part by pointing to his son's business dealings there. Senate Republicans produced a report asserting, among other things, that Mr. Biden's son Hunter, quote, opened a bank account with Chinese businessman. Part of what it said were his numerous connections to, quote, foreign nationals and foreign governments across the globe. Surely, uh, all of this happened just before Hunter Biden got in a plane during the middle of the pandemic in California, flew to Delaware, dropped off his laptops at a blind man's repair shop, and uh, then just flew back to California and forgot that he left a whole bunch of secret documents on there that the blind computer repairman found and then sent to somebody at the New York Times who had written exactly two stories previously, and if all of that seems a bit, you know, fakakted, well, now we know what the smokescreen is, because once again, Donald Trump is the king of whoever smelt it dealt it. But Mr. Trump's own business history is filled with overseas financial deals, and some have involved the Chinese state. He spent a decade unsuccessfully pursuing projects in China, operating an office there during his first run for president, and forging a partnership with a major government-controlled company. It turns out China's only one of three foreign nations, the others are Britain and Ireland, where Mr. Trump maintains a bank account, according to an analysis of the president's tax records, which were obtained by the New York Times. The foreign accounts do not show up on Mr. Trump's public financial disclosures where he must list personal assets because they're held under corporate names. The identities of the financial institutions are not clear. You know, this is why presidents are supposed to divest themselves of any business holdings they have before uh, they assume the presidency. Of course, you know, Trump doesn't care about that because fuck you, that's why. I mean, 
It's literally the Trump 2020 slogan. The Chinese account is controlled by Trump International Hotels Management LLC, which the tax records show paid $188,000 in taxes in China while pursuing licensing deals. Hey, you know how much Donald Trump paid in taxes in America? 750 bucks. But hey, glad to see he's looking out for China at least. China number one, China number one, woo! The tax records do not include details on how much money may have passed through the overseas accounts, though the IRS does require filers to report the portion of their income derived from other countries, because Donald Trump is known for his accurate and fair reporting with the IRS now that he's been under audit for a decade. The British and Irish accounts are held by companies that operate Mr. Trump's golf courses in Scotland and Ireland, which regularly report millions of dollars in revenue from those countries. Trump International Hotels Management reported just a few thousand dollars from China. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. I, I don't understand what all you wealthy people do, so... All right. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to keep an open mind here. <sighs> In response to questions from the Times, Alan Garten, a lawyer for the Trump Organization, said the company had, quote, opened an account with a Chinese bank having offices in the United States in order to pay the local taxes associated with efforts to do business there. He said the company had opened the account after establishing an office in China, quote, to explore the potential for hotel deals in Asia. Why would Trump want to do a hotel deal in Asia? I thought China was horrible and they had communism and they were ruining America. But apparently Trump has had a raging money boner for China and the greater Asia area for decades now. Huh? What happened to China? They're horrible. The Jainas. They sent the China virus to kill us. They're to blame the Jainas. Huh? Apparently Trump likes the China. Who knew? Mr. Garton would not identify the bank in China where the account is held. Until last year, China's biggest state-controlled bank rented three floors in Trump Tower, a lucrative lease that drew accusations of conflict of interest for the president. What? No. There's no way that's a thing. Really? Is, is that a thing? I'm, I'm kind of... Really? Is it? Eh. You know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? China continues to be an issue in the 2020 presidential campaign from the president's trade war to his barbs over the origin of the coronavirus pandemic. His campaign has tried to portray Mr. Biden as a, quote, puppet of China, who, as vice president, misread the dangers posed by its growing power. You know, the power that's growing because of all the American capitalism that's being invested in China. You know, because labor's cheap and... They don't care about intellectual property or licensing, and they'll undercut anybody. You know, pretty much the sort of thing that Trump really enjoys. And yet, for some reason, uh, Trump is telling you that he hates China. Oh, those Jainas. Trump's also sought to tar his opponent with overblown or unsubstantiated assertions about Hunter Biden's business dealings there while his father was in office. Quote, He's like a vacuum cleaner. He follows his father around collecting, Mr. Trump recently said, referring to Mr. Biden's son. What a disgrace. It's a crime family. Imagine calling somebody else's kid a disgrace and a member of a crime family. Unironically, if your kids are Eric Trump, Donald Trump, and Ivanka Trump. I, I don't mention Tiffany because he never does either, so who cares? Um, Really? Really? They're the crime family. Okay. I, I'm still going with you. In a misleading claim amplified by surrogates like his son Donald Trump Jr. and his lawyer Rudolph Giuliani, the president has said the younger Mr. Biden, quote, walked out of China with $1.5 after accompanying his father on an official trip in 2013. Really? Really? Hunter Biden walked out of China with $1.5 billion? How does one carry $1.5 billion and who in China could give you a barrel filled with that much U.S. currency? How do you just leap? Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm trying to apply logic here. I know it was my first mistake. Uh, numerous news articles and fact-checking sites have explained the huge figure was actually a fundraising goal set by an investment firm in which Hunter Biden obtained a 10% stake after his father left office. The firm did receive financial backing from large state-controlled bank, but it is not clear the fundraising target was ever met, and there's no evidence Hunter Biden received a large personal payout. Uh, again, like, there's all these conversations about Hunter Biden by Donald Trump Jr., 
And yet I'm hearing very little about how Donald Trump uh, worked with the with the Democratic House and the Republican Senate to craft and pass meaningful legislation in his four years in office. I'm still yet to hear anything about that with two weeks until the election. But I hear a shit ton about Hunter Biden. Apparently, Donald Trump thinks he's running for president against Hunter Biden. I, I, I must not have gotten my Hunter Biden 2020 lawn sign. As for the former vice president, his public financial disclosures, along with the income tax returns he voluntarily released, show no income or business dealings of his own in China. However, there is ample evidence of Mr. Trump's efforts to join the myriad of American firms that have long done business there. And the tax records firm and his companies that were obtained by the Times offer new details about them. As with Russia, where he explored hotel and tower projects in Moscow without success, Mr. Trump has long sought a licensing deal in China. His efforts go at least as far back as 2006, when he filed trademark applications in Hong Kong and the mainland. 2006! Dude, he has been jocking China for like a decade and a half. That is insane! So, so Trump's biggest complaints about Biden are Russia and China, and yet Trump has been trying to suckle from their collective teats for decades now. But of course he points out, oh, it's Biden. Biden loves China. Oh, the Democrats love the Russians. Like, apparently you're just trying to fucking allow somebody to license a fucking Trump hotel there. This is, this is crazy pants, okay? Now. It gets better. Many Chinese government approvals came after he became president. The president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, also won Chinese trademark approvals for her personal business after she joined the White House staff, including, that's right, a trademark for voting machines. I can't make this stuff up. It really happened. Ugh. Look. Damn you, China. China brought us the China virus. Also, I would love to have many Chinese hotels. I'm just saying. I like the China. Now, we get to the part of the show where I tell you, survey says, it gets worse. I feel like I've told you that before. Well, here comes worse, okay? In August, Mr. Trump said he wanted to offer tax credits to entice U.S. firms to move factories out of China. He also threatened to strip government contracts from firms that continue to outsource work to China. In a speech, Mr. Trump vowed to create 10 million jobs in just 10 months, saying, We will end our reliance on China. China. How'd that work out, huh? Donald Trump wants to end the U.S. reliance on China while spending the last 15 years feverishly begging the Chinese government to let him do business in their country. But sure, Trump hates China. Okay, sure. Trump's efforts to land business in China accelerated in 2012 with the opening of a Shanghai office. The tax records obtained by the Times show he invested at least $192,000 in five separate companies created specifically to pursue projects in China over a number of years. Those companies claimed at least 97000 in business expenses since 2010, including minor payments for taxes and accounting fees as recently as 2018, even though apparently he stopped trying to do business there once he became president. But the U.S. president's plans in China have been largely driven by Trump International Hotel Management through direct ownership of THC China Development, according to the New York Times. This is where it gets hilarious. Apparently, the internet in China, not, not here, not, not the tweeters here in America, but apparently in China, the comrade Trump jokes are like off the fucking charts now. Donald Trump's tax payments to China have delighted and bemused social media users there who have been closely following reports scrutinizing his tax affairs. Memes and comments referring to Comrade Trump are lighting up the popular Sinoweibo social network. Users are joking that he has been paying his Communist Party membership and that the motherland will never forget his contributions. Comrade Trump. 
crushing it. <laughs> he's paid China more than 250 times the tax he's paid his own ugly country. <laughs> Others are incredulous that the U.S. president embarked on a trade war while seemingly pursuing his own personal Chinese interest. No further details, however, have emerged in Chinese media reports on the bank account unearthed by the New York Times. Now, this is the part where I remind you that Donald Trump is the whoever smelt it dealt it guy. And if he's pointing a finger at somebody, it's usually because he's just trying to distract you from the fact that he's doing the very same shit he's accusing other people of. You don't believe me? Let's check it out. Ivanka Trump, made in China. What? No. No. The Trump family couldn't possibly be manufacturing shit in China while screaming about how China is horrible and that Hunter Biden is in China's pocket. What? Plates sold in the Trump gift store, made in China. What? No. Donald J. Trump's signature collection ties, made in China. I know. I know. It's crazy. It's kooky. It's incredulous. Like, no, not the MAGA hat. Come on. What? The MAGA hat, made in China. I, I don't know what to tell y'all. This is this is literally where we're at in America, where President of the United States spends all his time complaining about China and their horrible viruses and how much they hate America and how much Hunter Biden and Joe Biden are in their pocket. And meanwhile, you got less than two weeks left before the election, people. Keep your eye on the prize.